my name is Hannah Kaplan. Thank you for joining me today. I'm an occupational therapy assistant student at Milwaukee Area Technical College in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Today, I'd like to teach you about some ways that you can modify a bathroom to better meet the needs of an individual with low vision. Come join me in the bathroom and I will point out some positive aspects as well as how you could adapt this environment to better suit an individual with low vision. First of all, bathroom tile can be extremely dangerous for individuals with low vision because even just a little bit of water can create a very slippery surface and, and it's difficult to tell when there's maybe a little bit of water on, on the floor. Therefore, it's best to make sure to have rugs near the sink and the shower to soak up any water. So you can see here that I have some some rugs in front of the sink and in front of the shower. Another, another tip is that here you can see I have some not some non-skid pads underneath the shower rugs. There's another one over here. See that? So this is a very useful safety tool because it keeps the rug in place. See, I'm kind of trying to move it and I can't because of that pad. So that helps prevent those rugs from slipping out from underneath you if the floor is wet. Now, in the bathroom, it's best to use towels that contrast in color with the, with the color of the wall so they're easier to see. So here, my towels are dark gray and navy blue, so they contrast well with this white wall behind them. They're a little bit easier to spot on the wall. However, the colors of the two towels that my roommate and I use this gray and the navy blue are, are pretty similar to one another. So I would recommend for somebody with low vision, instead of having similar colored towels, using towels that contrast sharply with one another as well as the wall colors. So for example, I could replace this gray towel with maybe a bright red one or a light green so that it contrasts a little bit more starkly with the navy blue towel and the wall. Come join me in the shower here. And as you can see, this shower does not have a grab bar on it. That would be a great addition to help prevent slipping when entering and exiting the shower. There's also a little bit of a raised ledge here that can be hard to see. You know, I can sort of bang my foot on it. I would probably put some reflective tape or brightly colored tape there so that somebody with low vision can, can better notice that there's a change in the height and they don't slip on it. Um, another, another tip I would suggest is adding a little bit of additional lighting. So as you can see, it's a little bit, it's a little dim in here. I would add some more lighting so that you could just have clearer vision. Now, if you look in the shower here, you can see that many of these bottles of shampoo and body wash are similar in terms of their shape and size and color. So to make these items easier to distinguish one from one another, it would be great to put the bottles put the items inside of other bottles that contrast in terms of shape and size. Maybe you could put one in a taller, brightly colored bottle and differentiate them in that way. You could also add some textured labels to the bottles so that they could be differentiated from one another. For example, if I glued a piece of waterproof fabric in the shape of an S on my shampoo bottle, then when it came over here and just felt the bottle without looking, I would be able to tell that it's my shampoo. So water temperature is another risk for individuals with, individuals with low vision. If I were unable to see how far I'm turning this handle towards hot or cold, I wouldn't know how hot I'm making the water and I might accidentally burn myself. So one way that you could minimize this risk is by adding a label to the point of comfortable temperature or the desired temperature. So 
I made this little arrow using brightly colored paper. I could tape it right about here is where I like the water temperature to be. Then I would know exactly where to move this handle when I'm turning on the shower so that I wouldn't burn myself and I could place some waterproof tape over that so that it wouldn't get damaged by the shower. Now, let's talk about toilets. This white toilet seat is the same color as the toilet bowl. So the lack of contrast makes it a little more difficult to distinguish. I would recommend replacing the toilet seat with a darker colored seat. You can usually buy those so that it creates a stronger contrast and greater visibility. Additionally, installing some arms here or rails next to the toilet would make sitting down and getting up much safer and easier. So finally, you can see over here, we have a few drawers next to the sink. There isn't a ton of light in this corner of the bathroom. So I would recommend using a small lamp here on the countertop just to add some visibility so you can see better inside of these dark drawers. Additionally, adding some textured letters or brightly colored labels to the different bottles that you have that I have inside of this drawer would be a way to make them easier to distinguish from one another. Thank you so much for joining me today for my bathroom modification for individuals with low vision.